In 17th century Timor society, women held extraordinary power over their husbands. Women have supreme authority in the household and the husband must follow the wishes of his wife because if he does not, the wife is entitled to either beat him or leave him, taking the children away never to go back to their father. Concerning divorce or separation, both women and men were freely able to leave each other for whatever reason. However, if the man leaves his wife, he loses his possessions and children to her. But if the woman leaves her husband, she loses nothing and gets his possessions and the children. And again, it doesn't matter what the reason for why the woman is leaving. In fact, apparently wives would often leave their husbands out of jealousy stemming from suspected unfaithfulness. And if it turns out that the husband was indeed unfaithful, the offended wife has various ways of punishing him. One way involves the wife gathering other women in the village. They would arm themselves with spears and go to the unfaithful husband's house and devastate his plants. And if for some reason the husband is there instead of wisely leaving beforehand, the woman would either throw him out of the house and or attack him and abuse him tremendously. Another method of punishment towards the unfaithful husband is for the wife to simply just leave the husband and take away the children. She would then tell her relatives that she could no longer live with him and her relatives would then avenge her by going to his house and taking all of his possessions. A man was considered lucky if he only lost his possessions because sometimes the relatives would destroy the house. Now, if it was the other way around, if the woman was the one being unfaithful, it was considered less serious. The man was in no way allowed to harm the woman. At worst, the man could leave her, but as stated already, he would lose the children and his possessions. And if he were to get back together with her, the man would lose his honor, although he was allowed to kill his wife's lover. The unfaithful wife would not go completely unpunished, however, as she would lose her possessions after judgment, but it's not clear whether these possessions go to the husband. Furthermore, the wife would be banned from her husband's house. Now, this power that women held over their husbands was reportedly why many young men avoided marriage. When Christianity entered the Marianas in the late 17th century, the power dynamic of women dramatically changed. Christianity viewed marriage as a sacred and lifelong union to God, rather than something that could be freely ended for whatever reason as it was in 17th century Tsumoru culture. While both women and men found the Christian lifelong ideal of marriage to be burdensome, it was reported that Women especially found it difficult to follow the laws of Christianity regarding marriage because they were now forced to stay with their first husband for life. While today women have power in the household, they no longer have the absolute power over their husbands as it was prior to colonization, at least for some families. Sidhu Masi for watching Guahusipulan. Esta.